Welcome back, dear friends and supporters. In today's video, we will be looking at how to add a new garage system to our server. The reason I picked this script is because of its excellent UI design. This will be a great addition to your server, enhancing the player experience with a visually appealing and functional garage system. Let's dive in and get started. To kick off the integration of this dynamic update into your 5M server, begin by heading to our GitHub page. We've made this step straightforward for you by placing the link right in the video description for easy access. Upon reaching the page, proceed to download the folder. Once downloaded, unzip the folder and then copy and paste it into the server directory that best fits your configuration. The subsequent step requires a minor adjustment. Simply eliminate the word main from the folder name to guarantee a seamless setup process. Now, make sure to remove your existing garage script. In my case, I was using the QB garage script, so I'm deleting it from my resource folder. This step is crucial to avoid any conflicts with the new garage system. Now, another important step is to ensure the new garage script is added to the server server.csfg file. This will prevent any dependency issues with other scripts. Now, once the installation is done, you can go to the pillbox garage to take out your car. Go to the PID and press E to get the new stylish UI for your garage script. However, you need to make sure to go to the config file to add more garages, as currently only the pillbox garage is configured for cars. Meanwhile, I did see an SQL error in the console. To fix this, go to my Discord under the post for this script, where you will find a simple query to import into the database. There was also an issue where, if there were no vehicles in the garage, the UI could get stuck on the screen. This has also been fixed and can be found in my Discord post. All you need to do is copy the provided code and paste it into the client. Lua file under the process vehicles function. Make sure to check out Zap Hosting, renowned as the top hosting provider for your server needs. They offer a wide variety of products that can be customized to suit your preferences. Don't forget to use my redeem code at checkout to receive a massive 20% discount. You can find the code in the video description. Additionally, there's more exciting news. If we surpass 100 members using Zap through our link, I will host a giveaway for a lifetime Zap server. This is a fantastic opportunity for our community, so make sure not to miss out. Additionally, in the PD, there will be another PD for air transportation. And at the seaside, there will be another PED for sea transportation. Make sure to edit the config as per your preferences to ensure all garage types are properly set up. Now, if you're adding any custom vehicles, you need to make sure to add the PNG image to the asset folder in the car folder, or the UI can break sometimes. I hope you guys like this new garage UI. And that's it for today's tutorial. If you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to leave a comment below. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon to stay updated with my latest content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. I am happy to announce that Coden has welcomed over 2,500 members, making it one of the biggest hubs for 5M server developers and owners. Currently, we invite 100 new members every day. Our experienced developers and support team provide free assistance to all members who are struggling to set up their servers. All my videos with alert systems are included in the Discord, along with unique client codes and Discord server templates. A big shout out to my support team for their patience and around the clock dedication in providing free support. So why wait? Join our Discord and learn 5M development together.